From California to Virginia, a Florida man wanted for pawning thousands of dollars worth of stolen bikes now sitting in a Boise jail. But that's not even the craziest part of this story. The craziest part is that he was caught with the help of a Boise pawn shop. Shira Matsuzawa is here now to walk us through how this happened. Brian, it's business as usual at Sam's Locker today, but on Monday it was a much different scene because that's when the pawn shop discovered those stolen bikes. We tail them for a couple miles on the phone with dispatch. What started out like a normal day for the owner of Sam's Locker, Samuel Reading, quickly turned out to be anything but. Showed up with a U-Haul full of two to five thousand dollar bikes. On Monday, Samuel says a man called him and said he was closing down his bike shop and wanted to sell his bikes. But once that man arrived, Samuel got a bad feeling. So he called Steve Luke, the owner of Score Outdoors in Boise, to get some advice. I realized that these are really high-end bikes and the guy didn't know anything about it. As I was inspecting the bikes, I realized at the end of it that there was a, a bike shop's name sticker on the bottom of the bikes. So I pulled my phone out and called them, and immediately that manager said those bikes are stolen from our shop. Boise police say Bradley Kernschild stole those bikes from Washington. They're valued at $40,000, but that's not the only state he reportedly struck. As far as we know right now, he was wanted in California, Nevada, Washington, uh, Colorado, Virginia, Florida, and North Carolina. And in the past two weeks alone, he has pawned over 40 high-end bicycles from across the United States. When it comes to pawn shops, each shop reports their inventory to a database, which allowed Boise police to find out where Kernschild had allegedly pawned other items before. Which leads us back to Samuel, who followed Kernschild while on the phone with Boise police. So we followed him down five mile, back up you stick and then he started kind of like seeing us so we dropped back you know as he pulled out jack in the box it was pretty cool like four boise police officers roll you know came behind him followed him for a mile and pulled him over Kernschild faces multiple charges including battery on a law enforcement officer when he has initially was arrested out in the field he said he had a medical condition and was taken to the hospital is cleared by medical staff and when they we went to put him back into handcuffs to take him to jail he got upset at the officers and kicked one of them in the chest. It was just really good to that the two shops working together. It was just the perfect moment in our partnership that it came together at the right time at the right moment. Police are still investigating how those bikes were stolen, but they say they're hanging on to the bikes for a short period of time before they'll eventually return them to their rightful owners. As for how you can protect your own bike, we'll have tips from police on our new KTVB app later today. And Brian? I guess that just kind of shows you too, if you're ever buying or selling anything like on Craigslist or Facebook, specifically buying something, and the person selling it doesn't know a whole lot about it, that's probably a good indication that maybe they're not selling something that belongs to them. Right, yeah. yeah so that was a good tip. All right, thanks, Shira.